Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Hogwarts Legacy. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Let's get to it. Alright, so today we are going to Hogsmeade. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. So we started off uh, in a bit of a mystery having something that we didn't know what it was or what it was supposed to do. Going through Gringotts, finding uh, possibly the, the main antagonist of the game, as well as uh, getting to Hogwarts, getting sorted, getting into a couple classes to see what it's all about. Indeed I do. And now we're moving on. So we've learned a couple of spells, and now we have an opportunity to learn another one. And it looks like it's Reparo. I mean, how many times would you have liked to have had Reparo in your repertoire in order to uh, you know, fix something that was broken? You drop something, a plate or a vase or something, and just shattered and just like... <gasps> And then, and then what? And then what, you clean it up real quick, and someone's like, "Hey, what happened to that plate? What plate? We never had a plate." So, Reparo, highly useful. Putting things back to rights uh, that break. Usually, like, stones and statues and glasses, but, uh, you know, occasionally other things as well. The first time I remember seeing Reparo in uh, the movie, Harry uh, Harry's glasses had, had gotten broken and, and Luna had fixed them. And I was just like, <gasps> what if it didn't work? <laughs> I was like, what if it didn't work? Or what if she hit his face? So. Very dangerous uh, spell work. Unless you're, you're very careful. I mean, we've already seen, you know, partial uh, spells that were only partially completed. And... You know, these other things that are just like, you can see where the spells can go incredibly, horribly wrong. Uh, just like apparating, uh, not sufficiently and getting splinched. Uh, the Fluten Network, at least, is uh, more efficient that way where you just have to enunciate your words speak clearly i remember mr weasley saying so fast traveling to defense against the dark arts but i don't i don't think it's actually that far i think it probably took almost as much time for the loading screen as it did to actually get to where we needed to go. Whoops, wrong spell there. Did a zap instead of an Accio. Now that we have Accio, we can grab some of those flying pages that are around the castle, or all of them. We just have to find where they're at. All right, so I trust the preliminary task. we did the I thing. The so now we get to you learn the spell. Charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? It doesn't Remember to be deliberate in your make a whole lot of sense, but I guess it makes some I want to sense. See some vigor. Now, one at the ready. In some yes, form. Do this thing, and then you get the other thing. Or do this thing, and then you get a thing. You get like a little speed boost, because otherwise it'd be like, Uh-oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Unless you miss the speed boost, I think you're fine. And even you could probably miss a couple. Mending. 
so mending bridges or mending glasses from the small to the large in the alcove by the water it allegedly symbolized heartbreak perhaps now we can mend the statue that someone broke there we go Get some XP. XP gives us levels. Levels gives us HP. Um, maybe other stuff. I don't know. I've only seen HP, but I don't. I haven't really been paying that close attention. I do like that they tell you what you get from doing uh, different quests. So you can be. Just like, oh, do I want to do this? What does it give me? And then... Alright, there was a page that was just flying. Where did it go? Was this the one? Maybe. Challenge complete. That's just like an ongoing challenge. It's just going to go over and over and over again. That's pretty cool, because it's very... I mean, obviously it's still stone, but it looks very fluid. There we go. There's another page. So we need 15 pages now, instead of... Uh, I think it was 8 last time. To get the next tier reward, uh, which is... I think just cosmetics, but... You can never have too many robes, am I right? Ah, uh, secret passage. And, and it doesn't look like it's been used. Oh, speaking of... Jumper. I mean, it's not robes, but close enough. It's like on the way to doing one thing, you get sidetracked into doing a bunch of other things. So... You get to see more uh, of the castle, at least, by doing that. <laughs> I thought for sure there would be a field guide page right there. I mean, that's so... Like, in your face. Unlike the wooden cat. Fearless. Mouse hunter. <laughs> All right. Now I did have a bit of a toss-up between Natty and uh, Natty, Sebastian, I who I who I wanted to go. I don't know that it matters that much, other than uh, what you you learn a little bit more background from them as you're going along. I think that's the only difference. I could be wrong, or maybe it gives you a better. Uh, relationship if you choose one person over the other I don't know it's very it, I'm, I'm sure it's very uh, you know the minutia of it all whether you choose one or the other you get different information All right. So get to see some of the front lawn, so to speak, of, of Hogwarts. I mean, first and foremost, Hogwarts was built as a, a safe haven or bastion of young after being cooped up in ancient uh, wizards and witches mistake to take it as an elective class believe me now i thought for sure that they had to take a train to hogsmeade the one who elected that you take it train or carriage hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year everyone will tell you to visit at christmas but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Or maybe that was just in the, the gold, are you? movie? Oh, or maybe it was just in the book? So I don't know. But it has taken some getting used to. 
I did not grow up around snow. Feel like they needed transportation. But it wasn't so far that they couldn't oh, walk. Over here. I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about Because there's obviously that they are interesting to look at. one part where they were walking back. There we go. Had a little bit of a problem getting the lacewing flies. Thought maybe I had to accio them or something. <laughs> Trumpet flowers. That's when you have too many books. Look, from the forbidden forest. When you have to fly them. The forbidden forest. Ah, there they are. There's the hippogriffs. Awesome. So I know that part of it is hey, another flu flame. Why is it off limits? One of the things that they, the developers, encourage people to do is to listen in on eavesdrop, basically on other people's conversations, uh, to pick up information or clues. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the hmm. area. There's something over here. New here. She said that? Mm. Just a uh, treasure trove of materials. Leaping toadstool caps. There we go. <laughs> it was worth it. Rebellion. Accion. Lumos. Leviosa. Okay. Nothing worked. <laughs> can't blow up the barrels and can't levitate them and I can't accio the barrels. Because they're too heavy? They must be too heavy. I like that these crafting materials show up on uh, Revelio use. Because it makes it a little bit easier to find. Because I have a feeling you're going to need a lot of them if you're going to be more of a completionist. Even if you're only doing one one set of, of things, I think you're going to need a lot. Look at that. Accio. That worked. Moonstone. So, Moonstone, ooh, five, nice. So, Moonstone, I remember seeing on one of the dev streams that they uh, they were showing off some of the uh, crafting area, and I feel like Moonstone was one of the things that you needed a lot of. So, picking up Moonstone is going to be serious. Serious grinding. Uh, hopefully we can find them out in the wild on the regular next to, you know, rocky outcroppings. Now, Gladwin Moon is the groundskeeper. And he said he had a run-in with a demi guys. But uh, he may have just had a little bit too much fire whiskey. Something important. Uh, I don't know, important. Maybe just a little side thing. More moonstone. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, the kids, the students at Hogwarts. So, well, okay. So the kids get pumpkin juice. Even like first years. And then... They get a little bit older, and they get butterbeer, and then they get fire whiskey. The adults get fire whiskey. 
The three broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And, and you know, whenever you talk about Europe, you're, you've got a younger drinking age where it wasn't that serious for kids to drink, you know, beer, a uh, ale or a malt liquor. So butter beer may actually have been beer, a uh, gateway alcohol to uh, fire whiskey. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Awesome. So we've got three places that we need to go, but we can kind of peruse around as well. So I I do want to go to Ollivander's first, but um, I kind of want to walk around as well. Zonko's and then the other place going that way. So not all the shops are on the, the signposts. We've got locks on doors again, so if we want to break in, per se, there's uh, cauldrons. I still remember reading one of the books, and uh, Harry was looking at like a, a gold, I think it was a gold cauldron. And they were like, oh, you only need a, a pewter cauldron, I think it was. I, I want to say pewter. So, depending on the spell that you use, you need a different cauldron for different potions. So that's a neat little detail. Looks like they've got the uh, steel, iron, pewter... Uh, maybe not steel. Or maybe they do. Uh, wizards and all. But and gold, copper. Mind. They got a large variety. Alright, so I didn't go to uh, Ollivander's first. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Matilda? Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. <laughs> ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something. Yeah, I love to make something out of nothing. Without complexity. But that Look at is that where hat. my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you hey, will uh, soon bowler. impress even Professor Weasley. I wonder how my guy would look in a bowler part. hat. I look forward to that day. Dialing and profiling, I would say. Spellcrafts are useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. Spellcraft. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. Look at all the books and scrolls and that this guy has. Yes. It's almost like a library, so, bookstore. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's look at what we have, shall we? Oh, look at that. So we got supplies. Small potion station unlocks ability conjure small potion. Ability if conjure. Okay, and then we got beast feeder. At the rest of my toy box. Chopping station. Dung composter. Two large pots. One large pot. Refiner, hopping pot, medium pot, two, three, <laughs> three medium pots, three small pots, T-shaped, medium pots, small pots. Ooh, five small pots. Nice. That's cool. 
Like, and I can al already see the possibilities. And look at this. Look at this place. It's awesome. He's got, it's like part of the wall is, uh, is kind of broke. And he put books in there. Enchanted staircase. Awesome. There's a bunch of stuff over there. I don't see a staircase. Uh, at least not yet. Oh, well, there we go. Just needed the uh, the right key for the lock, so to speak. All right. Rebellion. I mean, look at this. He's got the fireplace, two chairs in front of it. I mean, this is just insane. The detail. The care that was put. Like, everything looks a little wonky, a little hodgepodge, but it's it's so intentional. Oop, I just saw a page. I think it went flying by here. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oop. Wait for it. There it is. Ah, got it. Ooh, level five. An extra 20 hit points. Silver four eyes spectacles. <laughs> oh, man. I almost have to take a look just to see. All right, with the bell on the door and everything. That was, that was awesome. Awesome. The amount of detail that they have. There we go, another... Another field guide page. Get some extra XP. Oh, a Wigan Weld potion. Uh, never hurts. We've got four, four of them. So if we get low on HP, we can use them. Rebellion. And that is, I think, down on the D-pad. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get into that little extra area. I mean, just look at the the variety of buildings. Not to mention the variety of witches and wizards that are in the streets. This cobblestone street. And lots of locks that we can't do anything with. Oh, look at that. Nice stone fence. And these eyeball chests, I'm guessing you need to... do something... need a, a particular spell in order for it to work. Now that's gotta be by the three broomsticks. I I think I think it's by the three broomsticks. It has to be, right? Fear the goblins. What will they take? We did not act. Uh, even in the wizarding world, there are potsters. <laughs> uh, potsters, literal and figurative. Is that uh, a sewer cover? Man, talk about living the high life in the 1800s. Rebellion. Another page. Collect eight to get to the next tier. Uh, we'll have to figure out what we need to open those chests. Yeah, even opening the map and seeing the, uh, the fireworks over Hogsmeade is pretty cool. But let's go to Ollivanders, because I am stoked. Now, in between the uh, sorting ceremony and now, I did link my account 
You have to link your Wizarding World account to your WB, and then once you start the game, you can link your WB account, and then it will pull that information in. So whatever house, whatever wand, and then we'll let's see what uh, what comes out. So I know what my wand should be. Nice. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Ah, it's you. How is it everyone knows? As soon as they see me. Hey, you're the guy. Hello, sir. I'm you're the guy I'm waiting for. Yes. It's about time. Yes. About time. Nice. Well, you're our new fifth year. Like a uh, a writer or an artist. He's got his wand tucked behind his ear. You'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a Everyone's heard of Ollivanders. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Uh, yeah. No, now, how's, no, have you, no, like, no. I want to know a little bit more backstory ah, about yes. our character. Yes. <laughs> like, why doesn't he have a wand? I mean, obviously, to get a wand, but you might do. coming in as a fifth year, yeah. I mean, all of it's kind of like plot. Well, go ahead, swish. Give it a swish. Hmm. <laughs> He's more of a fizzle. Once more, come on. Really swish it. Oh dear. <laughs> well, this isn't nope. much at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, ah, yes. Rare wood, yes. thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart Rare string. Wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. That doesn't sound right. Oh, 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 oh goodness! Oh, looks like it's. I am glad that you get a couple of. Uh, Duds. Well, not duds. Just not for you. Anticipated. Not the right one for you first before getting yours. Well, not, uh, you know, quite the Harry Potter where he, he went through like dozens of them. There but, uh, you, you know, a couple. Yes. I think you might this be might the be one. the one. Here. Take it. Give it a try. All right, so let's see. Oh, yep, that's it. Phoenix Feather, Blackthorn, Unyielding, Ten and Three Quarters. That's the one. That's the one it's supposed to be. Not how I envisioned it would look. But it looks like we can change it without changing anything else. So let's take a look at uh, some of the others. What the wands look like. How intriguing. And what, that's weird. Curious indeed. Yeah, and the variations change with the different ones, so. How intriguing. Spiral. Classic gray. Curious indeed. Let's see. Let's look at that one. Let's look at the variations. It does take a, a second for it to pop in blackthorn whoa look at all the wood types and then three cores and that's it what do you think there we go I mean cosmetically that's the the, the thing right how is it going to look when you're Another swishing it around? The beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Very cool. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. 
a match. Your connection seemed particularly Good match. powerful. The right wand will learn from you. Wand will learn from you, you learn from it. and you I learn from it. Try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and, and phoenix your feather wand is can only grow stronger. Finicky. Do not be surprised <laughs> at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly Interesting. in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. It would be. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again. I don't know. If Probably interesting if the uh, if you had some sort of like I don't know what you want to call it like a relationship meter with the uh, the wand. Like the more you use it, the the more you know intimate that the the wand understands what you're wanting. But then, how does that translate into? purpose so a little tricky and especially you don't want to make things more powerful because you don't want because you wouldn't want people just to be zapping zapping left and right all right i've been down this way just to bump up your relationship Open. Oh, that's great. <laughs> they had a, they have a sign person. Oop, look at that. Silver four eye spectacles. We had what did we get last time? Uh, silver was it? S silver? Silver oh, fox sir. regalias? Oh, thank I don't remember now. When I heard the bell, I thought you. Were oh, thank goodness. No, that she deigns to come here. Though. I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first <laughs> time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin... J. Pippin's Potions. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some And he is dressed at Hogwarts. and You're ready. In the Yo, look at that. I set your things aside. Look at that purple vest and the. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age. What kind of tie is that? It's almost like an Asgard. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? And and then the little the wand, band on the the arm of the shirt on the one side. They may not be as what they use that for? But make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. You see, like, uh, pharmacist, to keep I your, your sleeve out of things, I suppose. I also offer ready -made but does your, your sleeve really billow out that art. much? I unveil new ones from time Just to time. beyond the, uh, when you can, the so elbow? You don't, uh, I don't know. Anything. Hmm? But for now, or for something else. Recipes, shall we? I'd be interested to find out. What can I do for you today? Or if it was just fashion. Wigan Weld Potion Recipe. Nice. Uh, help. Oh, protection from harm. Feel nice. And then we've got some more potion trip. recipes. Cooldowns. That's cool. Today. Focus. Uh, powerful damage spell. Invisibility. Maxima. <laughs> Troll bogeys. That's great. Ashwinder. Hot to the touch. So awesome. I can't wait to... Oh, look at that. He's got his wood stacked up right above his... Oh, look at that. Didn't even know that was there. Looks like you can get to the back room through here, but can't do that. At least not right now. All right, magic neep. Brood and peck, beast supply. Salon, wizard wear. Okay. 
Brooms. Magic Neat. There it is. And what's this? Tomes and Scrolls. Okay, we've already been there. Tomes and Scrolls. You can see the points of interest. You can see the, the shops. Eventually, we'll go to the... Revelio. The Broom Store. Uh, maybe not on this visit. And when we get proficient at lock picking, well, we'll have to, <laughs> of course, make our way back here. Ooh, nice. Nice catch there. I wasn't sure that was going to work. And the chimney where it doesn't go straight up. Goes over to the side. These giant pumpkins. Call back to uh, Haggard's Hut. The one time. Got chickens in the back here. All manner of... Things growing. Ooh, and some more galleons. Yeah, if you notice, I don't have nearly enough. Ooh, and I think I saw a field page guide uh, by the cart. I that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively really not at all. Must be reeling. To see it all there we go. See it all as one oh, big bravo. adventure. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Yeah. Name's Timothy T. That would be Taylor, tough. The way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the He's not nearly as uh now, Doesn't have as not. much dirt on him as I would think see, someone so in his profession would have. everything myself. But otherwise, perfect. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what's Plants and seeds. seeds. Ooh, Dittany seeds. Essence of Dittany. Do have a look around. Plenty and then Fluxweed, throw your it. own fertilizer. Increase well, the yield. Everything. And then and different ingredients down there. So all kinds of, oh, and large pots, small pots, small pots, medium pots. So depending on what you need, and I'm assuming, yeah, so I don't have enough for very much. I don't have enough galleons for a whole lot Revenge. or, uh, what is it, sickles? It could be sickles. Because it's what, uh, sickles and canuts and galleons. Galleons is what everyone remembers because it's the, <laughs> it's the gold, gold galleons. Well, that's what I remember anyway. Very cool. Rebellion. So many locks. <laughs> All right, so I gotta go meet up. Oh, here's the three broomsticks. So I want to look for the the moth around here. I don't know if it's here per se, but it might be behind the. Well, there's something here. Yeah, but there's no Rebellion. barrels. There, there's like a big barrel on the side in the picture. So I assumed it was three broomsticks. But maybe it's the front? But I didn't see a, a giant moth anywhere. Uh, I guess we can always come back to it. Hey, look at that. Ooh, plus 25 hit points for going up another level. Challenge complete. Ooh, and a flu flame. That's what it is at the beginning of everything, right? It's like, oop, there we go. 
49. Oop, and now I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Let me out. There we go. Whew. Had to get the right angle. At the beginning of any adventure, it's just like you're getting little things, little oh, things here and there, little. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. trouble. Alright, so we dodged out of that attack. He's got some armor. Yeah, armor troll. Oop. No using a protection bubble for that. Are we getting him at all? Keep acting. We have to wear him down. Yeah, we gotta wear it down. Ooh, can barely see the attack coming. Oh, I could have blocked that one. And then, maybe even stunned him. Oh, I thought I was out of range. Obviously, not with those arms. Woo! That. I was trying to beat him at his own game. <laughs> beat him at his own game. Oh, pick it up. Bam! That does a lot more damage than the little zaps. Yikes. Get him. Yeah, 55, 43. Wow. Oh, look at that. Got something... A little something new. Goodness, a that was cool. Troll. A second Didn't troll. You take on a fully grown troll. <laughs> a fully grown tr I troll by yourselves, and it's you didn't stick your wand voice. up its nose. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Wow! Look at that. Like that. The makings of Honora, if you ask me. Expect if you are big unharmed, things from you, Mr. Potter. Oh, I mean, uh, helping me put a few whatever your name is. Where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. Officer and Singer. Again. So, an Auror. Oop, and apparated, disapparated away. Rebellious. Alright. So, I need to put things back. That is cool. That will never get old. Rebellion. There we go. Clyde Rags Wizard Wearer. Repair. Little things. One big building and then a bunch of little things here and there. Uh, and maybe a statue. I actually don't remember that being there, but that's okay. Repair. Or something. I'm not even sure what. Okay, a little cart. I'm not sure where the plants it came from, but take it. Honeydukes. Awesome. I assume we can go in there. And a box just sitting on the ground. I'm assuming that goes with something. Good as new. Ah. Rebellion. Something behind me, I guess. 
Uh, another page. Always keep your eyes open for that. And then there's one more to fix. And then we'll be done. Rebellion. Repairer. It's just a stack of... There we go. Slightly different stack. I feel like the stack changed a little bit. We were just talking about you. All right. Let's see. <laughs> after after tea, of course. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusing today. All right, so... Take your time. Oh, okay, we got supplies to pick up. A school robe, and then we've got a bunch of superb, legendary, and extraordinary. I'm not sure why the extraordinary is below the legendary. I presume the legendary is better. Let's get that. And it has a little defense. I did notice that there was zero defense previously, so... Oh, and this is where you can see how much health you have. Uh, offense. Offense. Uh, okay. So there we go. What an extraordinary introduction. Adding to functionality. I would say that to our wardrobe. In particular, have earned at least one butter beer. And so now, to the three broomsticks. Sounds like a good idea. To the butter beer. Just down this way then. Rebellion. So, let's grab that first. Should you be inclined? Peruse my shop. And see if there's anything over here that we can... Uh, some more currency and something else we can't get to right now. And I think that's it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Moving mannequins. Unbeatable Quidditch gloves. Very cool. Hopefully there's some transmog. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona. That you can the make owner. things look she is a charming hostess. Uh different depending on what you have and what you've gotten, etc. So we'll see. Let's see what this is all about. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is 
working with Rookwood? The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh, uh, uh, timely. Was that Lodgog I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. So perhaps, I think that depending on who you take, to to uh, you might be promising things that you can't necessarily deliver. Revelio. Because we've already told Professor Fig that we wouldn't tell anyone, and now we're, <laughs> we're about to tell someone. Is that a Honeyduke's cake? Don't mind if I do. So, second time that we've seen Ranrook, and of course the trolls were the distraction. Let's go up here, see if there's anything up here. Revelio. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Accio. I know that that's must be outside. Oh, there's something over here. A bag, maybe. Banded color scarf. I don't think I'm going to have another fight. Not just yet, anyway. I think that one's outside as well. Alright. Can we go through that door? Oh, we can. And it puts us close to where that one page is. There we go. We got it. So let's maybe, maybe we go talk to Natty and probably head back to Hogwarts as it's getting late. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I am and we'll see you next time.
and that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Station. 